Let's write the Lewis structure for pentane, that's C5H12. We'll also take a look at the molecular structure, a little bit more about that. So when we draw Lewis structures, we first need to count the valence electrons. Carbon, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A. So it has four valence electrons, five carbons, so we multiply by five. Hydrogen is in group one, so it has one valence electron. We'll multiply that by 12, so 20 plus 12, 32 total valence electrons for the C5H12 Lewis structure. So there are likely a few ways we could draw a Lewis structure for C5H12. But because we're talking about pentane, we see it ends in A-N-E, that means it's an alkane. So we're only going to have single bonds between the carbons and the hydrogens. And because it has pent here, that means five. We'll have five carbon atoms single bonded in a row. That'll look like this. Each one of these lines here represents a pair of electrons. So we could replace this single bond with a pair of electrons. And we could do that for all of the single bonds. But normally, you see them written as just a line to represent a pair of electrons. If you count up all of these pairs of electrons, you'll end up with 32. That's how many valence electrons we have for pentane, the Lewis structure here. You'll also notice that each carbon is bonded to four things, either hydrogens or carbons. So this is the Lewis structure for pentane. We could also write this as what we call a skeletal structure, and that looks like this. So I've overlain the skeletal structure on top of the Lewis structure, and you can see at the end we have a carbon right here, here's a carbon, here's a carbon, carbon, carbon. So the skeletal structure is just these lines here, and we don't draw the hydrogens. We could also look at this in 3D. That would look like this. And you notice that when we look at both the skeletal structure and the 3D structure, it has a different shape. It kind of has a zigzag shape. That's because the carbons are sp3 hybridized. And then if we think about the geometry, the hydrogen atoms are spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. So we end up with this shape. And the bond angle is about 109 degrees. So that's the Lewis structure, the skeletal structure, and then a 3D structure for pentane, C5H12. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.